YouTube What up? It's your boy Crazy Crockett And today I'm coming at you guys with my brush collection man These are all the brushes that I own um, So I'm gonna break it down to you from hard, medium, to soft, to the crown brushes we gonna break it down, man. So let's get into it. All right, YouTube. So we are gonna first start with the hard brushes, man. So uh, this one right here is the 8159. 8159. This one is the Taiwan edition. So I have um, Taiwan, I have a China version, and I have another China version. And as you can see, let me get closer. I'm gonna let you guys see the back of these brushes. And you can see the difference in them. They're different in weight and they're different in pretty much a lot of things. A lot of people don't know the difference between the China and the Taiwan. So I'm gonna get a little close so you guys can see, see the difference, man. So, so these two right here, these two are, well this one is a China, and this one is a China, and this one is a Taiwan right here. So you can see there's, a, there's difference in, in all three of them, man. In my opinion, my opinion, I think that the China is a lot harder. So these, these three are my 8159 hard brushes. Going into my next hard brush, which you guys know I am a hard brush waver, man. I mess with the hard brushes, so it's only right. So the next one is the blue, the blue, blue royalty hard, man. This bad boy is hard. Like Comparing it to the China, I would have to say this one is definitely harder, man. So let's, let's get closer, let you guys see. Basically almost the same brush, even the back, like it's all pretty much the same, you feel me? So, but this one right here is definitely a brick. It's a brick. Next brush is the Hell on Earth. This is what they call it, the Hell on Earth, man. This one right here, I, I really, really love this brush. Um, it has great, great pull, man. This is one of my favorite, favorite brushes, man. Next brush, um, I rarely use it. I probably want to use it about... I want to say maybe two or three times. Um, this one right here is a bass. This is a bass club brush. It's more on the uh, medium, uh, hard medium side, but it's still a still a dope, dope hard brush, man. Still a dope hard brush. Uh, last but not least, y'all already know the Torino 180. Uh, this one right here is always going to be in my arsenal. A uh, great, great hard brush. Love the pull on this brush, also, man. All right, next we're gonna go into the medium brushes that I have. So first is the Torino 6556. This is an OG right here, man. I love this brush right here. This one right here, you can use on a fresh cut. You can use it on, you can use it even when you're woofing. Like, it has a great pull. It's a, it's a nice, nice brush. Next one, another banger right here. Another banger. We're gonna, we're gonna get this from the close up. Gonna get this one a close up. Y'all already know, man. If you ain't had this brush right here, get you one. This is the Torino 0646, man. One of this is definitely one of my favorites. One of my favorites right here, man. This is uh, um, like my homeboy Courtney would say. Shout out to Courtney WTBD, aka the Boogie Man. He uses this. This is his fork killer and his wash, his wash method, man. So y'all need to pick this brush up. This is definitely a dope brush. Next brush is the Royalty. Uh, I forgot what the nickname was for this brush, but I haven't really been using this brush that much. Um, but, I mean, it's still a good brush, but I haven't really been using it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I need to put it in effect, but I really haven't been using this brush. I'm going to put it in rotation one of these days to really, really um, get into it. The next brush is the Double Duck brush, man. Shout out to CJ Monsoon. He sent me this brush right here, man. This is one of my favorites, too. This is in rotation right now. Let y'all see that bad boy. Yeah, this one is in rotation right now, man. So, this is a nice, nice uh, medium. It's a medium. I, people say it's like a more of a medium heart, but to me, it's just a solid, true medium. Next brush is, man. I just gotta, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say about this brush. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. This is a 6451, man. This is the uh, the oval palm. I've had this brush for at least a year and some change. Maybe long. I had it when it first came out, man. So this is one of my favorite brushes for that crown work, man. This is one of my favorite brushes for crown work. Love this brush right here. Love this brush. 
Uh, next one, I haven't really used this one a lot. This is the Monster Pro. A lot of you guys probably don't even know about the Monster Pro uh, line. But I think it's strictly in New York. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me. But I see a lot of New York waivers that have these Monster uh, Pro brushes. This one is the 3451. Um, it's a palm brush also, man. So it it's definitely has nice pull. Um, I've had this brush for a while also. Um, the next brushes that we're going to get into is just uh, some of my crown brushes. Um, but honestly, I, I rarely use these. I mostly use the, the ovals or I'll just, you know, use my long handles. I've, I've had my pattern so long that I can use pretty much any brush for my crown. But when you first start, you want to get something that you can really isolate the crown with. So, um, this one right here is the Diane 8117. Diane 8117. Diane 8117. Now this one is like a, it's like a medium. It's definitely like a medium. Um, the next brush we have, this has a no name on it. Uh, I really, I don't know. I think I got it from Target, I believe. I believe I got this from Target. Dope, dope brush. Um, it definitely has pool. Um, it's crazy because you can find some some hidden gems sometime at Target and these, uh, these different establishments, man. Uh, the next brush right here is my oh no zero my five seven five man this is another uh medium brush let y'all see it yeah it's pretty it's pretty nice for the crown work also but like i said i normally just use um my ovals or any brush that i just have in handy man so uh let's get into the medium softs we're gonna get into our medium soft brushes right now uh, this right here is the royalty uh, I'm gonna call it. I guess they call it the Deadpool. I'm gonna call it the Deadpool. I, I mess with this brush right here. It's pretty nice. Um, it's a medium soft, but it has a nice pull to it, man. It has really, really nice pull. Uh, so this one right here is really, really nice, man. Next brush is the. This is the RS Stein uh, 110. This is the RS Stein 110. Uh, I haven't been using this brush a lot, but when I do use it, you might see it at the end of my sessions. Just like a nice little polisher. It's not real soft. It has nice pull to it. And uh, you can definitely, you know, the ovals are really, really nice to get around that curve. Get around that, uh, you know, the right side of your crown when you got to swoop. Next brush that I have is the Wavy Merch Brush. This is the Wavy Merch Brush. Um, if you guys haven't seen the review that I did on this brush, um, definitely check it out. Um, but I really, I rarely use this brush right here. This is the, I want to say the hard brush version. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Um, but yeah, um, dope brush. You know what I'm saying? I rarely, I rarely use it, but a lot of waivers say they like it, man. So like I said, I'm not going to bash Nick Wavy's brush. Dope brush. I would use this brush at the end of my sessions like a polisher. And that's what I did when I was using it. It's a polisher brush. Really nice when you, you can use the little, um, the oval part right here for your crown work. So definitely, um, if you want to get this brush, go over there to Wavy Merch or Nick Wavy on Instagram. And he can get you where you need to be. Next brushes is the softies. Softies, softies, softies. So we're going to start off with the Torino Pro. This one right here is the, uh, I don't even know the number, but it has the longer bristles. I'm going to let you see those bristles. You see how, how long the bristles are? very very long um it has you have to learn how to brush with brushes that have long bristles you have to you you can't just use them the same way you use like like these brushes right here you know what i'm saying like you have to know how to use it so but this brush right here i haven't used it a lot in my sessions but i definitely will um bring it back and put it in rotation who excuse me the next brush is the og 8169 og 8169 um, I've had this brush for years, years, man. So I've had this brush for years. Always will be in rotation whenever I see it. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll put it, put some strokes on it. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll give it some work. Next one. Next brush that I have is the same. It's a softy. It's an OG. I don't know the number. I don't want to say the wrong number because like I said in previous videos, we got some brush scholars out there. So if you mess up the numbers, they're going to be on your head. I don't want no parts of that, man. So I'm just going to say this is the OG uh, palm version of the 8169. Next brush is my royalty. They call it the... See, look. Got this long old hair. Mm -mm -mm. That's what you... See, that's what happens when you got daughters, man. Got my got all this stuff in my breast. But yeah, so this is the um, Black Panther. 
Dope, dope breasts. I really like this breast. This is in rotation right now. Um, last but not least is the Torino Pro 2556. 2556, man. This is the uh, all black with the with the brown with the brown. <laughs> the blonde bristles, man. This one's a dope, dope softy. Um, I have, I've used this brush sometimes. It just depends. With my soft brushes, I'm going to keep it real. I rarely do a lot of soft brushing. But when I do, um, I can pick up pretty much any one of these. And um, I can I can get it in with them, man. So um, that, that's how I do with my soft brushes. Because most of the time, I'll just use um, a plastic bag. Or that's pretty much it. I, I rarely use my softies. But when I do, um, I go in with them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just the last, you know, the last that you should be doing. The soft brush is to polish it, get it all laid down, but you always want to go over it with that plastic bag. Another brush that I'm using right now uh, is my WTBD brush. Let y'all see that, man. Focus on that WTBD logo. Y'all see it. WTBD brush right here. Um, I just use this for mostly my crown work. Um, as you guys can see in one of my videos, I use this on my crown. Um, I like it for my crown. It gives it has a nice pull. It's more on the medium side, maybe medium soft. But um, I like it on my crown. Another thing you guys ask is what do I put my brushes in? So um, I brought what I put my brushes in. Uh, this is more like a little tub or whatever. And I would just pick, like let's say for instance, I'm going to put my arsenal together right now. I will go in and get my blue brush. I will get my, my 180. I will get my Hell on Earth. I will get my, my blue Torino. Um, I would always have this one, the oval. Um, let's see what else. Well, uh, the double duck brush, um, the palm, and I definitely will put the red in there. And I think that would be it. That would give me my whole arsenal. That would give me my hard, medium, soft. And like I said, um, if I don't want to use these for my crown, I always use just the oval uh, palms. So yeah, so that's what I use. I use this. Uh, I know they got the brush racks and all that kind of stuff, but you know what I'm saying I got kids and I don't have a place for that those big old racks and all those things like that. So I just use you know just stuff that's uh, that that I can just find. You know what I'm saying? I put this in my closet and I just grab it and I go do my sessions, man. All right, YouTube. So that's my brush collection. Those are all the brushes that I have, man. So you guys asked for the video, I gave it to you. Leave a comment below on brushes that you have in your arsenal. Uh, brushes that you have in rotation right now. Y'all already know, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Wavy Crockett signing out.